So basically what I'm going to do is going to hang it like this. This ain't going anywhere. This is clamped onto the gun. No doubt. And it'll suspend it in midair. This is Tony here. What's going down? I know you like I've seen that video with the with the electrolysis and I got a lot of hate on it. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind thumbs down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round two on that gun. I know a lot of people are disappointed about the results on it. It's not restored. I know it wasn't really, I didn't mean restored. I just meant to see if I can get it. Yeah, just get it cleaned out. So <clears throat> I'm going to get the gun out. I'm going to use borax. I'm using this stuff, guys. Washing washing detergent or what the heck it's called. It's called... Nature's freshener. No, it's... Borax. Wa anyways, this stuff's good. This stuff's fine for electrolysis. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be one tablespoon per per gallon. And I fill that thing up. And then I get the gun in there. We'll go check it out in a little bit. Stay tuned. David's here. Yo, the antique victims here. I know Graham's an old prehistoric human is almost half dead. So you might not see me after this video because I might be in the dirt. I might be black in my brain. Yeah, give us lots of thumbs downs. We like, we like thumbs down. Yeah, we like thumbs, thumbs down. Thumbs down, dude. Like, like what, what do the thumbs down look like? Like that? Like this? Or yeah. Like that? It's way down. Yeah. Thumbs way down. So yeah, we want to see thumbs down on this video, guys. Yeah. So let's go right on. Let's go fill the big bucket full of liquid, dude. Start, it'll be interesting to see how much you can get off. But uh, pretty wild. The process. It takes that rust and uh, electrolysis process. Right? How does it? How? Oh, oh, here we go. Whoa! I better shut her down. Yeah, dude. you can shut her down, dude. We're getting close to the top. We want to pass those copper copper things there here we go that's it looks good nice and clean water. look at how clear it is i know it's nice and clear right eh? yeah clear water dude. really clear so we're gonna what we're gonna add some sodium bicarb uh, sodium carbonate we're not using bicarbonate it's not baking soda boys all right it's sodium carbonate that we're putting in there all right all right so what we're what i'm going to be using is i'm going to be a mixture of sodium Tetrabroate. Borax. <laughs> it's not not bicarbonate, but um, this is what you get. Borax stuff works good. So I put about uh, four tablespoons in with uh, four gallons. So I got maybe a little less than four gallons here, but um, we'll do this right now. I'm gonna clamp this sucker. Clamp this. Clamp it on here. There it is. And I'm gonna put some sodium bicarb. Or not bicarb. I keep saying that. It's not sodium bicarb, it's carbonate. Ah. So, I'm gonna dump this crap in here. And one more. Ah, come on. And then I gotta mix it up a bit. That's good. Then I mix it up. I'll just use this. No doubt, use the big stick, dude. Use the big stick to mix her up. A big stir of that will make this potion. Yippers. So all, all, uh, all these, see all these four things are connected, right? They're all connected by copper. So I got copper wire connecting all four of them. So they're all you put electricity through one, they go through all, right? So you gotta do that. But then the negative is gonna be attached to the gun that's suspended in the middle. That's how you do it. It's right pretty on, simple. dude. Pretty simple. Pretty buddy. simple. So go out there and find an old gun and watch our videos and make it look like that. So I'm just gonna clap this thing onto here. So we're gonna go with this. Make sure you still have metal. Yeah. So, basically, she's metal on metal, dude. Yeah. So, basically, what I'm going to do is going to hang it like this. This ain't going anywhere. This is clamped onto the gun. No doubt. Let's suspend it in midair. Move this over a bit so it's more. Balanced. There you go. Alright, but then it's gonna just 
see suspended. Whoa. Like this. And oh, it's pretty close to the edge here. Don't want to. I'll turn this thing a bit like this. There you go. So that's perfect. So it's right in the, not near anything. It's clamped on. Now I'm just going to hook the negative up to here and pause it up to here to any one of these rods. And we're ready to rock and roll. <coughs> rock and roll. Okay. So I'm going to use this. Here, Dave, over here. Whoa, they don't hear me. Automatic battery charger. It's got to be automatic, all right? And I'm going to put it on uh, 2 amps, 12 volt. I could put it on 6 volt. Maybe I'll jack it up. So I do 6 Crank volts. Crank it up, burn the bitch. We're going to do 6 volts, 10 amps. Whoa, 10 amp or dude. We're going to fry that bitch. Is that in. more? I don't know. It's 12 volt. 12 volts more than 6. Oh, I was, doing, I was doing a lower one. I was doing only 2 amps, 12 yeah, volts. Were? Yeah, I was doing two amps, so I do a ten. Whoa! Should I do ten amps? Sure, cook it. Let's let maybe that. Let's do ten oil. amps. Ten amps, twelve volts. Let's cook the thing. Just blast it out. Blast it out, dude. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna I put have these going through. So you're gonna turn it on right now. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna turn it on right now. There she is, dude. <clears throat> have these. You don't want them to touch. Okay. He's on. She's on. Right Whoa. We're all powered up. I'm gonna clamp the. I'm gonna clamp this one on first. I'm gonna clamp it right onto here. Onto that. Looks good. And then this one onto here. Whoa! See the spark? Jump yeah, that'll spark. And that's it. And we're done. Right on. Maybe you see let's the see. big boil. Yeah. Let's see if it's turning. Crank her up, dude. Oh yeah, it's cranked. Say. Cranked all the way. You seeing any bubbles coming? Should be good. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Turn the bubble. Ooh, that bubbled out, all right. Bubble up. So we'll just leave it like this and we'll come back and see how it's looking later on. I gotta head out. We're heading out to the beach. We're gonna go do some detecting tonight. To the beach, but yeah, so we're gonna. But uh, I'm gonna t unplug this because I'm not gonna be home. And then I'll plug it in when I get back or tomorrow morning and let it run all day. But you can see here how it's starting to, yeah, how it's starting to pick up on the the, the rust is picking up on the posts. So everything's working good. So I'm just gonna un turn it off and put it inside. I don't want to leave it here when I'm at home like this. You, you shouldn't run this outside because the hydrogen is coming up and it builds up inside. It's flammable, like it can, it can explode. So the gas from the, the hydrogen gas can build up in the garage. So you need to do this outside. You don't want to do it any, anything. You don't want to do it anywhere near anything flammable. Like this. Oh no. Yeah, probably should move that. Okay. Okay. Let's go check out this thing. How? See how it's looking. I might. You know, I do a bit of a time lapse on it actually. For the rest of the day, and uh, oh yeah, it's getting murky. It's getting mucky in there. Hey, get, don't do that. No, dog's chewing at the mat. He's been out here for two seconds. He goes after that mat. I don't know why. It smells really good or something. But there it is. Stinking dog. Hey, hey, no, no. Oh, good. Hey, 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 shh, no, no, give me that, ugh, jeez, little, it's got little needle teeth, man, this dog, no, no, oh, hey, come here, no, <laughs> we gotta bring him in, well, let's go, Pippi's out here, let's go check out what I've done here. This has been running for 24 hours straight plus another 12 hours before that. So about 36 hours of burn. And you cannot even see the gun, man. Look at that. Gun is just cooked. I don't know what it looks like, but in a little bit, you can see it bubbling still, still working. Um, yeah, but I'll take a peek at that soon. I'm gonna take that out. Maybe I might just leave it in there still. Let it cook, look, cook even longer. I'm gonna take it out after I'm going to Remembrance, Remembrance Day ceremony. So, look at that. So, there we go. You can see my setup. Uh, yeah, there it is. The big burn. Buddy. Okay. 
Good day back here. Back with another Whistler Chestnut Ale. We're burning the gun room. So, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take this apart. We're making some beer, dude. It's fermenting alcohol. Yeah, that's off. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna turn this thing off right now. Oh, the door's locked. Shoot. No, no, it's not. Okay. Let's turn this thing off right now. So I don't have to worry about that. Okay. So now the gun. Let's pull the gun out and see what it looks like. Still there, dude. It's all in one piece. Yeah, we're just gonna keep, to zero, Matt. We're just gonna keep cooking it. We're gonna cook it till it's gone. He's flaking this. There. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa, he got you some flaker. What, you know what you do actually is what you gotta do. You flake the shit off of it. Yeah, like off the barrel. Oh dude, it's like totally coming off. Hey, what you do, dude, is get some. Why don't we do that? Yeah, let it dry off. Okay, we'll do that. We'll we'll put it down. We're gonna let it dry off for a bit, then we're gonna flake. Maybe I'll put it somewhere hidden in the sun though, because I don't want someone to see it walking by. I'll put it right here. Put it down right here. I'll just get a paper towel and just soak it up, and then get a little pad. And I'll, I'll leave it there for a second. Yeah, it's sunset. And then I'm gonna empty this out and do it a little bit more later. But I'll empty this all out and do it again. So look at how dirty that is, man. Look at that. Can I have a sip of that, bud? Sure. Okay. Alcohol. Ten percent. Look at that, though, hey. Yeah. Mm. Comes in my ass. Whoa. But look at that, though. That's just yeah. look at all the rust came off the gun. Rust. Brutal. So there it is here. There's the gun out of the. Looking better. Still some rust on it though, so I'm gonna put it back in. Um, next video, I'll put it back in and we'll keep going, but it's it's clearing up big time, man. It's like uh, some parts of this gun got no rust at all. This, this middle part here has got a lot of rust. I might clamp it on to the barrel next time. Um, and maybe leave this open because I, I clamp on here maybe there's a reason why it's this is the area where I clamp and that's the area where the most rust is still so maybe if I clamp on a different spot this will this will open up a bit more and flake off but yeah there it is looking looking pretty good but yeah a little bit ways more to go okay you can check out the electrolysis process here this thing's been running all night last night and all day today. Ooh. It's looking mucky. Lots of rust going on here. There it is. Check her out. This is the second time around. I connected to the barrel. I just don't want to drop my phone in there. That'd not be good. Connected to the barrel. Um, and yeah, looks like it's still running. I wonder if I should just leave it. Just let it keep going. Yeah, I'll leave it for now. All right, looking good though. I'm gonna shut shut her off now. It's gonna be hard to see. I'll, I'll bring the bucket in. Well, oh, it's not bad. Look at that. It's got some good time action going on here. There we go. So we're gonna unplug this thing. Look at this murky. Murky is it's pretty nasty. I'm gonna get this out. I'm gonna rinse it off. Bring it in the house. And uh, but first I gotta unplug it without shorting the whole thing out. So let's do that. That's good. Turn this bad boy off so I don't wreck anything. It's a manual battery charger. It's not automatic. I know I kept. I said automatic. I said a lot of things that are a little bit off. <clears throat> but anyway, let's check her out. Let's pull this thing up and see what it looks like. You ready? Here we go. There it is. I don't know. It's, it's okay. But oh, I think I think quite a bit's come off of the back there. I bet you that'll flake off too. So I'm gonna take a little light pad to it and see if I can get the rest of that off I'm gonna turn the camera off so I don't drop my phone because I need two hands to do this but um yeah we'll see you on the inside on the flippity flop okay here's the video uh, completed I took it 
in into the sink and just washed it off and picked off some of the rust and it is like a ton of rust came off the back end of it loads of it if you can remember what it looked like before it's even better now and around the even around here i don't want to touch this because it's pretty fragile it's thin in a lot of areas where the trigger is but um yeah a lot of rust came off this gun the second time around or yeah this well there, there's even some actually in the barrel there that i can pick out um but yeah it looks looks good i don't know if i'm, I'm i'll probably there's a load of rust inside the gun it's tough to get at but um you know maybe i'll i'll zap it again one day but i think that's good enough for now uh, yeah there it is thanks for watching see you later